Sip by Brooke Valentine. Brooke Valentine is known by many as a one-hit wonder. She dropped her breakout single, Girl Fight, back in 2005. She's dropped a few projects since then, but nothing has managed to stick. She's currently on Love & Hip Hop's most recent Hollywood series. She also dropped a new EP called Sip. How do we feel about it? Here's our honest review of her newest EP, Sip. Dang, that was 2005? Yeah. Man. Not just that, but in the last two years, she's been uh, raising a special needs kid oh. as well. She has a, a special needs child. Okay. I think the child has cerebral palsy. Okay. So that's another reason why we haven't really been hearing from her. Since her, since her debut album dropped, she's dropped other projects, mixtapes and everything. So, okay. And she's been writing for other artists. That's what's up. So she's been, she's been you know, doing her thing. I that's just said cool. most people know her as a one hit wonder. Yeah, yeah. No, my son's thing. I, I want people to get offended. Yeah, don't get offended. Chill. How you feel about this album artwork? I think it's pretty cool, man. It's like, you know, I like the uh, album art, the um, font. I like that sip font. I think it's pretty dope. But also just like, you know, the pose that she, I'm assuming that's her. Or my, I'm not sure. But I like the color contrast between the dress and the pink in the background. I think it's pretty dope. Yeah, it's, it's a little sexy album artwork. I felt like that kind of like led, led into what the project was about. Yeah. If you want to know what the project's about, look at the album cover. It, it'll give you a really good idea yeah. of what you're about to, you know, get yourself into. Mm-hmm. The flow of this project, it's an EP, you know, you get six joints. It's like a little 17, 20 minute joint. I think it's like, oh, 19 minutes, 19 minute joint. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's R&B. It's not if you, you've only heard Girl Fight from her, it's not that. Nah. It's, it's definitely a far cry from that. I haven't listened to anything she's been doing other than that, like the mixtape she's put out, Physically, phys, Physical Education, Chain oh yeah, I didn't even hear Chain Letters in, in its entirety when it came out. But this the flow of this is definitely more soulful, sexy R&B. Yeah, most definitely, man. This is something you would definitely sit back and, you know, get a drink to just to chill, relax, and vibe. And it's just, you know, really laid back highlights man look the highlight show when connected first comes on and you hear that beat yeah and them strings crying like that that joint just sounds crazy man right, right. and uh that joint comes on it sounds really good uh where they at it's, it's a cool song i like it i think it's really uh you know it's, it's got a nice cool slow vibe to it sip though i think sip is the highlight on this project uh I just love that, that just her and, and that slow tempo would work really well. Right. And then my other highlight would also would be Rewind. I think Rewind was actually really good as a song. Yeah, man. Connected was a great way to start out. Really set the vibe and the mood. Where they where they at can kind of work as, I guess you could say, the current kind of trend in R&B music. So it's appropriate for the times right now. Sip is amazing. And Rewind is a really, really great song. Low Lights, man. Look, Nookie. It's not a bad song. It's I just not. feel like the hook. Thank you. The hook yes. is not good. Yes. There, they, they, they could have been a better way to do the hook. I feel like uh, Kes Chris, uh, Kes, uh, Chris Kes Cross mm-hmm. is however you say his name. Yeah. I, I feel like he he was dope on he this song. He showed up. Yeah. Like they their contrast was really good. I like the way they their chemistry worked on this song. It, yeah. it worked out really well. But the hook is is not good to me right. and then uh swear to god featuring Brid- um bridget kelly yeah. i thought it was okay i, I wasn't overly blown away mm-hmm. and my overall like low light of the project was even with the good songs it didn't make a huge impression on me it was still somewhat i guess forgettable and even though there's good songs i i, I like i listened to it like six times <laughs> oh what day was that <laughs> I was doing it on Sunday. Okay. Son, I li- yeah, like uh, so, so Saturday, Saturday. I listened to it like six times on oh, Monday. Monday, I listened to it six times in a row, back to back to back to back. And then I didn't listen to it all yesterday. Mm-hmm. I mean, on, on Tuesday, and then I listened to it again today. And then it was just like I slightly remember the songs. I didn't, like the words don't come to mind or anything like that. So, right. like I said, it didn't make that big of an impact influence on me and made me remember the songs. Yeah, man, I agree with you with Nookie, man. I feel like it's a great song. I felt like the feature artist on there was great, but it's just the hook didn't really hook me. And I just, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of hate the term, whole concept of the word Nookie. It just kind of annoys me personally. But other than that, I loved how the song sound, but it's just when it got to that hook, I was just like, uh, it could have been a little bit better. And swear to God, it's just too short. It's two minutes. 
it's like once you start listening to it, it goes right off. Like I kind of felt like a little an extra layer to the song. But other than that, that's really my only low light to the project. Final thoughts, man. Look, I, I want to say I felt like uh, Brooke Valentine made a, a good comeback based on how I feel. Just because, like, Girl Fight was a big song. That joint played in the club. I was That joint was in the club every day mm-hmm. when I was going to the clubs. Like, luckily there wasn't no fights breaking out because <laughs> of the song. Because, I mean, that was just a trend. Lil John was the hottest producer yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. So, so, but... To hear this side of her because I didn't know she could really sing because yeah. Girl Fight's not like a singy type song. It was more like a club record. Yeah. And this showed me another side to her. Mm-hmm. I watched a couple clips of the Love and Hip Hop stuff. Not a fan of it. But then again, I'm not a fan of Love and Hip Hop. I mm-hmm. know it's fake. But, you know, it's entertainment. I get it. Mm-hmm. But she's in hella good shape. Yeah. And uh, her voice sounds amazing. So I feel like she's making a dope comeback. Yeah, man, this will definitely get you if you haven't paid attention to the artist at all and you just know her from, you know, Girl Fight. This will actually open up another side of her that you didn't know about. I wasn't too familiar with. I may have heard a couple tracks here and there, but, like, she was never really anybody I paid attention to on my radar. But that being said, I thought this was a real smooth joint. I feel like her voice is really comfortable and relaxing. And, you know, at times, you know, I love how the production was just really calm and mellow, you know, just real, like, really, you can take a sip of something and just chill and listen to this. So in that regard, I think it's a real good effort. Um, I'm interested to see what she's doing next because I think that she has a good, you know, area that she's going in, in a good direction. Final grade, man. I'm going to get this joint a dash. Okay. And the reason being is I like four out of the six, mm-hmm. but the, the two I don't, you know, that I think are – incomplete and, and missing some things no. and then the, due to the fact that i felt like the replay value for like well not the replay value the replay value on the good songs is actually pretty good but yeah. i just it, like i said it didn't make that big of an impression on me and i don't see myself coming back to this over and over again i'll throw a couple songs on the playlist yeah. but aside from that i just i think it's a dash yeah i agree with you i give it a dash as well and the only reason is because it's just like it's got something there but like you said it's about coming back to it it's not really nothing that you know you will probably just be like oh you gotta go back to that and hear that over and over i mean i can listen to connected sip and rewind like that but as far as like the lasting impressions it's just like okay i see where you're going but i want to see more so that's just why i want to see more i want to hear more and then i'll you know make a fair judgment there 